as you can see in B, he wants you to find uh, the electric field using equation 245. Uh, if you go up to equation 45, you will see here that the energy is equal epsilon over 2, the integral, volume integral of electric field squared, d tau, and this is integrated over all space. Very important that this is integrated over all space. So this is a continuation of the previous problem. If, if you haven't seen the previous problem, look over the previous problem, part A, where I used a different equation to figure out the energy. Now here, I'm just going to do it in a different way, but I will still use the electric field that I obtained from Gauss's law on the first part. You see what I mean? And so I will still use the E field, uh, the E fields that I obtained in part A because I will need two fields. Because overall space means uh, you're going to start, you're going to split the integral into two. Okay, just to give you a hint so you know how to go about this. So this is going to be uh, epsilon 0 over 2, no? And uh, I will go from uh, 0 to R using the field inside the sphere. And uh, that's, uh, I called that, I think, up here, uh, E... Uh, I called it, uh, this was uh, for outside, this was E1, and uh, the other one, uh, let's just call it E0, or is it the other way around? Yeah, I called the outer one E0, so, uh, and this I called it E1, E1, uh, from R to R. E1, and, and this is supposed to be E0. So that means uh, you will split this integral from 0 to R, uh, E1, d tau, over the sphere, plus R to infinity, which is the remaining of space of E0. I called the E outside E0, d tau. So this is how you have to go about doing this. So you still need to, do, to figure out the electric field. So now it might be a good place to practice that. Okay, so uh, uh, going back to uh, plugging the electric fields in. So I have zero to R and E1 was uh, E1 was uh, so R less than R Q over 4 pi epsilon R cube Q uh, over 4 pi epsilon R cube, this is all a constant. I don't need to, I can put it outside the integral and uh, uh, R, R, and d tau is R uh, squared sine theta dr d theta d phi. Uh, and uh, of course, this is going. This is a triple integral. Uh, I guess so. R is going from zero to R. Theta from zero to pi, and phi from zero to two pi. Uh, from zero to R. Um, 
and uh, oh I have to square oh this is e1 squared and this is squared so I would have to square this so this is squared and this whole thing here is squared uh, okay good and uh, so this is the first one plus let me do the second one here so let me change the color so plus uh, now uh, e uh, e0 zero. e0 zero is uh, that is outside um, so r greater than r uh, this is q over 4 pi epsilon r squared U over four pi epsilon squared r squared I'll take it in and uh, one over r to the four and then d tau is r squared sine theta dr d theta d phi from zero to uh, oops from r to infinity. from r to infinity, from 0 to pi, and from 0 to 2 pi and d phi. Okay, and so let's close this big bracket now, and let's evaluate. Let's uh, try to summarize here, so we don't do too much integration. Um, we know that uh, sine theta d theta from 0 to pi, I'll assume some basic calculus here, so I won't go through the details of this, the problem is already long, so this will give us a q, the integral of d phi from 0 to 2 pi, this is 2 pi, okay, so plugging all that in, we will get uh, work Equal epsilon naught over q. We have, uh, let's see, uh, I'm gonna factor q over 4 pi epsilon squared out. q over 4 pi epsilon squared from both of them. And from the first integral I have left, uh, 1 over r to the 6 because r cubed. And uh, we said we have a 4 pi coming from sine theta d theta d phi. And we have r4 dr from 0 to r plus uh, factor that out. We also have a 4 pi. So since they both have a 4 pi, I could just take the 4 pi out. So I don't have to deal with the 4 pi, and uh, here we have uh, r squared goes away with 2, and I have 1 over r squared dr from r to infinity. Okay, so uh, let's simplify this. So this becomes epsilon over 2 u squared over 16 pi squared epsilon naught squared times 4 pi uh, this is r5 over 5 from 0 to r plus integral of 1 over r squared is minus 1 over r uh, from r to infinity so uh, this is, uh, see, 1 cancels out, pi cancels out, 4 and 4, so I have an 8, epsilon and a pi, uh, q squared, 
Now this becomes, uh, oops, I forgot the 1 over R6 here. So this is uh, 1 over R6, R5 over 5, minus, uh, at infinity this becomes 0, plus 1 over R. So uh, this cancels that, and we get Q squared over 8 pi epsilon. Uh, and then we have uh, 1 fifth r and 1 over r. We can multiply this by 5 by 5. So we get uh, uh, 5, we get uh, 6 over 5. Yeah, we get 6 over 5R here. And if we simplify, uh, the final answer will be uh, 3, 4. So this is 1 over 4 pi epsilon q squared times 3 over 5r. If our work is consistent, it should be the same answer we obtained above. Uh, let's box it and take a look. Uh, indeed, it's the same. So, using the integral of the electric field squared over all space, we are also able to find the energy using a different method.